Look at this damn mess. Bunch of jackasses. He got baptized by a street car. <laughs> What's up guys? So it is Wednesday and we've got a race this weekend. Um, we're gonna be getting the truck ready tonight. We're gonna go over everything. But we've only got so much daylight and it's snowing outside. And we have a Banshee and we have a Razor. So we're gonna make the best of today. guys play time's over we got the truck on the lift and I'm gonna go over everything make sure everything's good to go before the weekend last weekend we had an issue with the radiator cap first round leaking I put a brand new radiator in it um, and for whatever reason the cap wasn't fitting tightly and we didn't catch it until it was too late once it got hot it started spewing out during the run so I want to go over everything and just make sure that we're not going to have any issues like that again. Um, typically I'll 
I'll check all the nuts and bolts, you know, everything that is typical maintenance. You know, a lot of times my drain plug leaks. I'll get under there and tighten that up. Uh, I check my motor mount bolts, check the starter, check all my fittings for my dump valves. Um, usually check all my uh, bell housing bolts, make sure they're all tight. Check, uh, make sure there's no wires uh, that are rubbing anything. Um, check all the plug wires, check and uh, check the bell housing bolts. Usually check flex plate bolts are big. I'll check my rear leaf spring shackles. I'll check, uh, make sure that my uh, two inch blocks here, they're in good shape. Um, drive shaft bolts, everything. Um, need to check all my transmission pan bolts. Basically just check for leaks. You know, if there's any oil coming out anywhere, clean it up. Um, yeah, we're gonna shake everything down, check it out. And uh, we'll be ready for the weekend. So this is why we check everything, guys. This little guy's been leaking and I've noticed it on the deck of the trailer. And uh, get under it and it's finger tight. If that had let all the oil out on the track, that would be a bad time. So we're gonna go ahead and tighten that up. And as you guys can see, I don't know if you can actually see or not, but we are missing a bell housing bolt up there. Right there, missing a bell housing bolt. So it's a good thing I got in here and checked it. Um, if that one's out, I'm sure there's a couple others that are maybe loose. So we're gonna go ahead and put another one up in there and check the others. I always check is the Caltrack bars. Make sure none of the nuts have gotten loose. And I like to make sure that the shocks are all tight. Nothing's vibrated loose there. And our roll bar. Make sure nothing's bent. You can see our frame's not doing too well right there. Where we've tied it down on the trailer so many times that it's literally ripped the frame. This winter I'd like to box this frame in in a, in a few spots to help with some of the twisting in the chassis. As you can see here, this is where the leaf spring mounts in the front. What do you call that? Where the leaf spring mounts up in the front on the frame here? Front, whatever. You can see how the frame is being yanked down by so many, so many passes on it. See it straight, 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 straight. Then it gets to here, that pressure point, and it's bent down. figure out something with this cast iron steering gear box because that thing's pretty heavy. I'd like to go to a manual like rack and pinion setup. Even though I hate to, but that's a lot of weight there on the front. This weekend we're gonna be at Alabama International Dragway, Steel, Alabama. Make sure you guys come check the race out. It's gonna be Saturday. Racing's gonna start around noon. This is a benefit race for Caleb McNeil. 
He was tragically hurt in an accident. He's still fighting for his life right now, and him and his family could use all the prayers they can get. This weekend, the race, all of the proceeds are going to go towards Caleb. I believe 50% of the payout and much of the entries at the gate for spectators. So the more people that come out, the better. Thank you guys for watching. God bless.